valued more than just as numbers on a balance sheet. Question number four, the Honourable Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Immigration. Does he stand by all his statements and actions in relation to Carol Shrewbeck, also known as Jan Antelik? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Ian Lees Galloway. Mr Speaker, yes, in the context of the information that was provided to me at the time. Does the Minister agree with the Prime Minister's statement that there has been a mistake in the Carol Shrewbeck case? Mr Speaker, as the member is aware, there is an investigation underway into this matter. It is important that I do not prejudice the investigation or any possible further action. Because of this ongoing work, it is not in the public interest for me to answer questions on the matter at this time. I will be able to provide more information at the appropriate time. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Hey, point of order, the Honourable Mark. In the, last, in the question by the Deputy Leader of our party to the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister stood in this House and said, that there had been a mistake made. The, the Minister has not answered or addressed my question. And, and he, he very, very certainly uh, did address the question in a way which is absolutely consistent with the long-term policy of this House. Is the investigation of Immigration New Zealand considering information relating to a break-in at the house of Carol Shrubeck's estranged wife? Mr Speaker, I refer the member to my previous answer. Is the investigation by Immigration New Zealand considering information relating to a New Zealand family being put into the Police Witness Protection Programme as a result of actions by Carol Shrewbeck? Mr Speaker, I refer the member to my previous answer. <clears throat> Is the investigation by Immigration New Zealand considering the facts around Carol Shrewbeck undertaking business trips back to Europe while on bail? Mr Speaker, I refer the member to my previous answer. Is the investigation by Immigration New Zealand considering Carol Shrewbeck's involvement and contacts within Operation ARC? Speaker, I refer the member to my previous answer. Liz, Liz Craig. Supplementary to the Minister. Does he or his office have any record of Mr Mitchell asking to receive a briefing in relation to the Shrewbeck case? Mr Speaker, no. <laughs> to the Minister. Order, order. The member has started his question. Does he believe Carol Shrewbeck is in any danger from the government of the Czech Republic? Mr Speaker, I refer the member to my previous answer. A point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is of course the right of any minister not to answer a question because they deem to be the answer uh, inappropriate uh, as far as public interest is concerned. Uh, but there was a patsy question from the minister's own party asking him if he had received any requests for a briefing from the Honourable Mark Mitchell on this matter. Uh, are we to believe from that, and could the minister perhaps elucidate to the House uh, as to whether he would give Mr Mitchell any more answers than he's been prepared to publicly give to this House today. Well, that's a very satisfactory um, supplementary question. If the member wants to ask it, go ahead. Sorry? Supplementary question. Supplementary question. The Thank Honourable Mark Mitchell. If the minister were to receive a request from me um, offering a briefing around the circumstances in which he... Um, or asking for a briefing in relation to Carol Shrewbeck's residency, would he provide that briefing? Well, I'm interested that the member is asking me that question because he's already claimed that he asked for such a briefing. He has not, but if he does ask, I'll consider it. Point of order. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Point, point of order, Mr Speaker. I'd just like to clarify for the House that sorry, I... Sorry, is, is this a supplementary... It is a point of order. It's addressing an a issue point, well, if, Sorry, it's a point of order? It's a point of order. A point well, of personal order. explanation, Mr Speaker. There is, in fact, a request... No, no, you can't seek an explanation. There's either a point of order or there's not. Point of order, Mr point Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Mark Mitchell. There is a request from my office to the Minister's office for a briefing. Order, it's in the, it's order, in the... order. I think, I think if the member wants to make a personal explanation, he may, but he must seek the leave of the House to do it. He doesn't just try and do it uh, in a... 
unparliamentary manner as he did. Speaker, could I seek the leave of the House to make a personal explanation, please? Is there any objection to that? There appears to be none. The Honourable Mark Mitchell. Mr Speaker, this morning, um, after request, I wrote a formal letter to the Minister offering to uh, attend a briefing uh, by him and his officials on why he granted residency to Carol Shrubeck. That is in the internal parliamentary mail system at the moment. <laughs> Any further supplementaries, Mr Mitchell? Question number five, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Oh, that's me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.